Yo, this is Rick Mahorn, the bad boy, giving a shout out to my man, Drew, Detroit Drew. Make sure you tune in on his YouTube channel, Detroit Drew, bad boy. Are you ready? What's good, peeps? Happy 4th of July, man. Um, I'm recording this before I either got drunk Friday night during that live stream, and I'm recording it before <laughs> 4th of July above the rim, where I will also be hammered. But I want to wish everyone a happy 4th of July. The world's been crazy, man. We could all use a break right now. But back, definitely go over to Jimmy's channel tonight, 7 p.m. Good show, good guests. Can't wait to talk that. So, let's hop into today's video for a very cool, calm, collective video. But again, talking about restoring the Pistons, because God, man, I, I love this quote. And Troy Weaver went on to Sirius XM, their NBA radio station over there, and talked about coming to Detroit, why I came to Detroit, and what his goal is going to be for the Pistons. And it's, again, restoring the Pistons, but he goes into a little bit more detail. It's about the way the Detroit Pistons have won over the years. And what he's trying to do is rekindle that and, and reinstate that. And if you go back, whether if it's on Team Day on the NBA Network where they have the 04 team, the Bad Boys on there, or hell, even the Grand Hill, Joe Dumars era. What do all those teams have in common? Well, let's take the Grand Hill one. That's a bad example. That's a really bad example. Because that was really an offensive team, not so much defensively. But... 04 and Bad Boys, man. They were two of the toughest teams in the league, and both of those teams are two of the toughest teams in NBA history. They're in there. I'm probably putting Bad Boys number one in physicality terms, but the 04 team was more physically dominated, and they actually shut people down. They have the record for holding the most teams under 70 points. 70 points. When's the last time you guys have watched an NBA season where that has happened more than five times? In today's NBA, it's super, super rare. And you can say, well, it's a different game. Okay, but you have to realize who they win against. They held Kobe and Shaq in the NBA Finals to 70. The New York, nope, sorry. New Jersey Nets were a high-flying, fast-break team with Jason Kidd and, 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 and company. Held them to it. Indiana Pacers. Old uh, Reggie Miller. But he was still effective. Then you had Ron Artest, Jermaine O'Neal, and several other cast members. The NBA was not weakened. There was a ton of scores. Plus, you had to think about uh, Dallas as a young up-and-coming team. The Spurs were established. And again, we only had to play them twice a year. But then we had to play against Miami when they got Shaq and Dwayne Wade. We had to go against Cleveland so much and so forth, people got better. People were stacked. And that 4 team shut them down. The bad boys, man, knocked people on their ass. Love that quote from The Last Dance. You come to Detroit, you're going to get your ass kicked. Love that quote as well. And again, with today's NBA, this current Pistons team is not going to be able to play as physical, probably as either one of those teams with the new hand check rule. If you play the way the bad boys did, you're going to be kicked out of the league. Everyone, <coughs> excuse me. I don't know where that came from. Everyone talks about Draymond Green being a loudmouth. He's no Rasheed. No Rasheed. But I love the fact that Troy Weaver is a fan of the Detroit Pistons culture. I've told you guys several times, man. Go back, watch some of his press conferences in OKC. He talks about the Pistons a lot, actually. This is just meant to be. He knows what a Detroit Pistons is supposed to be. He knows what, when you put the red, white, and blue jersey on, what it's supposed to represent for the city. I mean, God, we need someone like this who is going to know what it takes to get us to this home. That he's going to know what pieces the guys can go after, rather if it's free agency or draft, to fit the Pistons mold. I'll say it once, I'll say it probably until the day I die. Detroit Pistons should be the only team in sports that has a built-in identity to it. A hard-going-to-work team. 
who is going to put the work in on and off the court for the community for themselves to get better, to put a better product on the floor and compete with some of the greatest teams of all time. And I think Troy is going to do his very best to get those players here. And I can't wait to see what he's gonna have up his sleeve. It's only a matter of time before the Lamelo Balls and Pistons. I'm speaking it into the existence because man, yeah, 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 he's nice, he's nice. Let me know what you guys think about the Sirius XM video, man. Um, I was not able to record it because the Sirius XM is a different platform. I'm not trying to get copy strike again. I don't want to lose anything, so I'm not going to put it in here. So I'm just going to share that little, little clip, picture thing. Um, so let me know what you guys think about it in the comments, Instagram, Twitter, DSM, with USA website, and above the rim. Uh, we'll be live tonight on GMO's channel again at 7 for the 4th of July special. And until then, see you guys at 7. That's the bottom line because Detroit Drew said so. Peace.